And you get the Machina to join this alliance that are trying to stop the Mechon. That seems like it would be the right move. Alright. Yes? Oh, alright, we haven't finished this quest yet. Oh, let's mess with the time of day a little bit. You can help this woman with her door over here. Welcome. Great, you got everything I need. Thanks for your help. Now I can finally fix my door and get back to my house. I'm so glad everything worked out. Yeah, Cosmos. I just remember really one of her lines at the end of battle was like, My efficiency is down blah blah percent. Xion, I need to be cleaned. Or something like that. You'd say it a lot. I can get back to work now that I can get back into my house again. My big sister collected up some scrap for me to repair. The work's really been piling up. Looks like I better get cracking. Okay. Physical defense down four. I need to be even stronger. Level up. Good stuff. Hi there. If I travel to a new world and start over again, this place already has more than enough shops. You want to go to Colony Six? Huh? Colony Six? Colony Six? The one that would accept me as a new resident and shopkeeper? I know just the place. I don't know how to tell people to go to freaking Colony 6. Hi there. Trading bonus, eh? Buff time plus, that's cool. That's clearly someone that can go to Colony 6. Maybe I'm not far enough along in Colony 6 to tell them. Welcome. You must be tired. Please feel free to use this room. Would you like to take a rest? Yeah, sure. Um... How are you? Sleep well? Yes, very well. I... wanted to, uh... Like his tiny little... chins and feet. Have you made up your mind? Yes. We agree with you. Egil must be stopped. But we can't act now. Oh? Why is that? Before we came here, we heard of plans to form an allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Munkar was using? The one that shoots green fluid? He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. We have to go back and warn them. The High India said they could make like antibodies to stop it from working, right? Oh, Dixon. What? How the hell did Dixon know to come here? <laughs> Dixon's just like, I've been everywhere. I swear, if I was like, Dixon, we're going to the McConaughey's capital, Dixon would be like, I know a good restaurant there. Like, me to do it. Dixon, what are you doing here? I can't believe you found us. Why? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> You're looking well, Dixon. What? <laughs> so Dixon already knows these guys? What the hell, man? <laughs> ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. So Dixon knew about the Machida and he just isn't telling anybody. Like... What? You know each other. Kinda. <laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. He tells us about the outside world. And we give him technology and information. What? Why did you keep that to yourself? 
That information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? These Machina cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless fighting. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? So this is where you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9. I wondered where you were getting it from. I thought it was fine as long as it helped Shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's out now. So, that weapon. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why, but it disintegrates anything it touches. But only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm, bet that would come in handy. Dixon. I'm only joking. Anyway, for now, just don't let any of it touch you. <laughs> I'll come up with something to counter it. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. I don't even believe for a second he doesn't know who the hell Eggle is. Dixon's a liar, man. If you take him down, the Allied force might not even be needed. Okay. I know we're getting together this huge army of all the different races, but I mean, why don't you just go take care of a Shulk? <laughs> then we wouldn't even need the army. For a bit. Dixon kind of reminds me of like a really shady bard. Like he gets around and he has all this knowledge, but he never seems to fight. You know? He just travels around spreading information and getting technology. He's like a weird bard slash merchant guy or something. But there's some shadiness to him that I don't quite get yet. Fiora. Also, like, he was the one who got the Monado and brought it back, right? Like, like Shulk was, and his family, and the other people that went up there were all, like, dead. And Dixon shows up and saves them. Like, why was Dixon even there? All the way up, like, in the mountains. Like, the other Homs don't go anywhere. Dixon is, like, the only Homs that goes traveling around at all. The other Homs don't know about the Hyentia. They don't know about the... Machina, they don't go searching through the freaking mountains, and when they do, they die. <laughs> Ain't made your mind up yet. I'm not surprised that the Machina exists. I was kind of assuming that there was going to be more races on Makanis when we got there. Kind of like, Bionis doesn't just have the Homs. It's got the Homs and the Hyentia and the Nopon. I didn't think it was just going to be Mechon when we got to Makanis, but I wasn't expecting the Machina. Dixon, listen. Dumban told me all about it. The goal of your mission. So, you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive. And now you've got her back. So you're all done now, ain't ya? <sighs> what are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin. That Egil guy. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs. So a, a minute ago, he acted like he wasn't even sure how to pronounce Egil. And now he says he's fighting because he doesn't like Egil. There's that, but that ain't everything. It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high end prince is really moving things along. The music plays so loud. Join 
in the fight. He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Kallian said that. I was pretty surprised too. He looks like a sissy, but he's got guts. Yeah. I think that's the type of man he is. So what are you gonna do? He wanted me to let him know. We're going to the Maconis capital. Okay. You're gonna take down Egil. I don't know. I can't forgive the Mekon for what they've done. But after listening to Mikkel, I think there might be another way. You're too soft. Do you really think that? Too right. He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mechonis. I heard about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up. But you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hesitate for one second and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Fiora, are you okay to be walking around? Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenarda's pretty good. And not just with machines. She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. You went to get the things you needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. No matter where we go, no matter how difficult it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. It doesn't matter how slim our chances. Shulk will always stick to the right path. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Well, when I think about everything you lot have done, I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. About the Allied force, yeah, leave it to me. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mechon won't get away with anything else. So, like, I'm trying to, like, see ahead a little bit here, right? So, so we're gonna head to the Mechonis capital and take on Echo. If this were your standard garden variety JRPG, that would be the end of it, right? That would be the final boss. You beat Egil, you defeat the, the Mechons, the Machina take back over Mechonis, and everyone's happy and we're all good to go, right? That would be the normal, simple ending. But they've been foreshadowing so many other secrets that we don't know about that don't fit into that ending. There's some other layer to this, but I can't for the life of me come up with a theory as to what that is. Like, we're going to defeat Egil or stop Egil or whatever, and then something, some other shoe is going to drop. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't even have a theory as to what it's going to be. It's got something to do with, like, whatever the hell Alvis is working up. Like, I feel like Egil wants to kill bio, the, all bio, biotic, biological life. That, that seems like a pretty good, you know, quest for him to be on. It, it, it explains everything he's done. Egil might be that simple. But Alvis is up to something. And the question is, what? And, and then there's this lady, Maynith, who is like, she was the Mechonist, you know, quote unquote, who's sort of lying dormant in Fiora now, I guess. What's up with that? I don't know. I can't wait to find out the answer. I just, I don't have. Usually when I'm playing a lot of JRPGs, their stories don't get quite this complicated, so you can kind of see what's coming, or you know what's coming. Like, and sometimes in like a Final Fantasy game, like, you know what's coming. Like, okay, we're going to go up the tower, and we're going to kill the Emperor. And we're gonna win, and the twist will be like, and now you have to kill him in hell, you know, like, or the twist will be like, and you defeated, you know, Kuja, but now you have to fight this thing you've never heard of that wants to end all life because nihilism or something, or you know, you you got there and you stopped Sethroff and you fought Sethroff with the wings and shit. 
But, like, it, it's not, like, a big story twist, you know? Like, I feel like there's a twist coming. I just, I just can't guess what it is. I've been trying. I've been racking my brain. I, I, I have no clue. <laughs> and I love it. I love that I have no clue. Are you going? Yes. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> this guy sort of reminds me of, like, the Baron Harkonnen from Dune, if he wasn't a complete asswipe. Like, this guy seems pretty cool, but he's still, he's, like, up in this big, he's just this big guy up in a chair. Turn into someone called Venea in the capital. Venea. Just mention my name, she'll lend a hand. Venea. In the Makana's capital. I can her as well. She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? That's how families work, don't you? It, lad. And you say she'll help us? The girl doesn't want to hurt Egil, but she doesn't like what he's doing. She should be a big help to you, young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but... <laughs> we'll try and find her when we get there. I mean, they're clearly telegraphing that Shulk's gonna try and stop Egil without killing him. I don't know what's going to come of that. Dixon seemed very against that. Dixon's like, no, kill him. Like, he really jumped on the kill that old bandwagon really quick. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, when I'm asking all these questions, I really, really hope that no one here or on YouTube decides to spoil me, because I am loving this story, and... I swear to God, if you spoil me, I will ban your ass so fast. <laughs> like, oh my God, do, please do not ruin this game. It's been so good. Fura, don't forget. I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank mm. you. Fura's got more issues, huh? Meantime, I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Is that possible? Theoretically, there's some weird things with the graphics in this game. Like it's a remaster. Like they 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 remade. You know, they I think they actually rebuilt the game from the ground up to have it have better graphics and work on the Switch and everything. And the graphics are way better than they were on the Wii. But like, if you look at like Lenata here, her face is so much more crisp than like her armor. You know what I mean? Like her armor looks fuzzy. And it's like throwing me off a little bit. There's a lot of stuff like this in this game where it's like one part of the graphics will be like really detailed and sharp, and then the other part will be kind of blurry. And I'm like, why? The Switch can totally do better than that. It might be possible to use your genetic information to regenerate your missing organs. Sorry, it's unfair for me to give you hope. I'm not saying this is a bad port or a bad remaster or anything. I think they did a great job. I just wonder why. Like, what technical reason was there for there to be that disparity? To be honest, there's very little chance. But if there's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. And um, in the original, on the Wii, like, almost everything looked kind of blurry for them to make it work on the Wii. So, I mean, they've come a long way. And I totally think by the end of this, somehow Fiora's going to get her original body back. I don't have any clue how that's going to happen, but I'm guessing that's what's going to happen. Thank you, Leonardo. Fiora. <laughs> don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Dixon, look at this. Look at this shady crap. What is your... Like, there's so many characters in this freaking story that have some kind of, like subplot going on that we are not privy to. What the hell is he doing? Off you go, kid. I'm counting on you and the mm. Monado. Don't let me down, Shulk. Mm. I mean, that sounded less creepy than it was when I paused it, but I still don't trust him. I don't know why. It's because he's hiding things. Is this Egil? Is this what he looks like without the armor on? Why did that face betray me? And that light? No. That 
is not possible. It must have been remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, now we're throwing a whole new thing here. I, first of all, I love that now that we know that Machina exists, we actually get to see Edgil outside of the armor. So that we know like he is a Machina and this is what he looks like. And he looks badass. So that's awesome. But did he just throw former life out? Like, wait, what? Are we dealing with, like, reincarnation now, too? Memories. They are what limited the... Oh, okay, okay. He's saying her memories of her former life as Fiora. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, never mind. Never mind, take it back. They are what limited the potential. Metal face as well. Okay. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. Wow. This Hom's female. She was with the boy who wields the Monado. The light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. So it is this male. Oh! It's Kadolt, right? The boy Shulk remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. He's gonna He's still my servant. He's gonna sick mech on Gaddle on us now? Dude, that's a dick move. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. Yeah, I mean, I know Shulk wants to try and beat him without killing him or whatever, but I kind of want to kill that guy. <laughs> Shulk, take this. What is it? There's a path leading from the base of Digit 2 to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. We who live in the village don't have any need for it, but it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Leonardo. How did Dixon get here? Shulk, Fiora, take care in your journey. We will. Leonardo. Thank you for everything. Like, seriously, how did Dixon get here? This thing is at the foot of the Mechonis, not the foot of the Bionis. Sorry. Not talking to you, Siri. Alright, got the whole party back. Okay, Key. Let's go back together with our uh, old girl party for a little bit. We'll try out the new and improved, possibly, Fiora. Um, yeah. All right, she's done here. We go to that one. And he is done there. Agility up 30%. Very nice. And Shulk's damn near almost done completely. That's awesome. This one, passive back attack damage up. It doesn't say how much it improves it, but I'm all for that. Alright. So we got 14,000. We can upgrade this some more. I believe we've maxed out all the ones that we're actually using. Okay. Let's check Melia too. Go. 
We got a defense down four, didn't we? Yeah. 15%. And it used to be 10%. Alright. You know what? Let's give her the double attack. Who has this right now? Shulk? Let's take this off of Shulk. And let's see about buying her. We have money now, don't we? We have money. Where's our. I can't see it here. Let's see if we can replace her arms and her boosters with ones that give attack bonuses instead of eat her up. I'm fine with the debuff resist, and I'm fine with the attack plus, I think. Stop taking pictures. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I don't know what Nemesis drones do. So, it, was she the one they were calling Nemesis? Like, there was one point where they were, like, like codenamed something Nemesis or whatever. And I thought... Maybe it was her? I don't know. Let's check the store real quick. Oh, there's a quest right here. Welcome. Oh no, what to do? The village will be in danger. If no one puts a stop to this, we'll all be in big trouble. Oh, huh? what's up? Bit of trouble? What's bothering you? Maybe, maybe tell us our your woes. You will listen to what I have to say? Oh, thank you. What's happened is, I recently saw some mechon really close to the village. I'm always going out of the village and collecting scrap nearby, and when I was doing that the other day, I saw these huge mechon walking around. I was so scared. I ran off as fast as my legs could carry me, and just think of what would happen if those mechons got to our village. Now I'm even more scared. Please help me. Help us all. Thanks for watching, Echo. You have a great weekend, too. I'll be back on Monday. Alright. Alright. He's gonna open the door for us to leave out the back of the city too. That's awesome. I right, got more quests in here too. I wanna check out that store. I wanna check out the other fingers too. We're doing on time. We're coming close to the end of the stream already. Yes. Lately, we've been having so many problems we never used to have. I hope this is not a retribution for what Egil has done. We do not agree with what Egil does. That is why we distance ourselves from him. I know the village chief is very worried about all this too. Hi there. If she would just admit that she was in the wrong, she could apologize. That would be the end of it. Hi there. It was his wife, huh? Hmm. Hi there. I used to run a shop in the capital. It was really successful. There's just no need for a shop like the one I had. I guess it's to be expected, but with less people living here. Hi there. I make a living by picking up junk that washes in the shore. I would like to run a shop one day. I just can't find a place that has a market for my wares. Oh my god, dude. Alright, calling me six. Totally. What do you need? Alright, what are we doing? We got 48,000 right now. We can, we can buy more if we need to. Um... Let's see. Why would she want aggro up? I don't want her to have aggro. Aggro down, I can see. Attack stability. She already has attack plus on that one. Strength up. Yeah. I'll buy that. Strength up. 